Tell us childhood. When did music become a thing for you? I would say about three years old. I was at a preschool where we did music. We did performances twice a year. And so I had my first onstage performance when I was three. <laughs> and um, I wasn't very good, but I was nervous. And my, my mom uh, bribed me with a doll and said if I sang, then she would give me a doll. That was my first. And then I was hooked. So now I'm like, well, what do I get this <laughs> performance, mom? <laughs> so, yeah. It, uh, and then I had a musical family growing up, so I just got pretty lucky to be surrounded by it. But it wasn't necessarily that it was you know, super special that I did it. Not that my parents didn't think I was good or anything. It's just that everybody did it. My aunts, my uncles, my cousins, everyone kind of sings and plays. So it's just in the fa- in the family. Wow. So I would, I would assume then that, that the, the family had a lot of influence on you, but when did you, when did you start? I mean, obviously growing up in it, it probably was just a natural progression, but when did you start to think, Hey, I can do this? I think when we started my first band, I was 14, and my brothers, I have two brothers, they're identical twins, they were 21, and so I was starting to sing on stage in the Honky Tonks at 14 years old, which is ridiculous looking back, um, but that's, I remember playing my own original music for people at 14, and I was like, this is it, you know, this is what I want to do, I loved it, and, you know, we were getting paid, I can't remember how much, but... Um, to be in high school making money, and I would play in the bar Thursday night, and then I would get up and be at volleyball practice Friday morning, you know, 7.30 in the morning or something. <laughs> so wow. I was kind of hooked on the honky-tonk lifestyle from an early age. And 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 they let you in? Like, I, I you couldn't get into bars at 14 around here. I know. It was very strange. They kind of didn't know what to do, so they, they had a rule where um, I couldn't leave the stage, so whenever, and my parents had to be there. So my parents were having a, a great time. And then whenever I had to go to the bathroom, I'd have to like go in the mic and say, hey, um, I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> and the bouncer would come escort me. And then we got to be good friends. So I would just hop on his back and he would give me a piggyback ride to the bathroom and I would go. Because, wow. I mean, yeah, it's so wild. And then, then, you know, at 15 or whatever, when I was able to drive, everyone would have a great time at the bar and I would drive us all home. I was going to ask about that. At what point did you become the designated driver? Exactly. Oh, that's great. They that's, knew. How fun, though, being 14 and, you know, performing in the hockey tonks, that'd be, that's something. It was fun. It was my mom still, some like, I can't believe I let her do that. But um, there was a couple, I remember they threw someone out one time and they just grabbed this guy from the front of the stage and threw him out the doors and he went flying and he was just kind of being inappropriate. And I was like, wow, I'm a rock star. <laughs> <laughs> you had your own bouncer. That's cool. Yeah. I was not wow. a rock star. 